In this video, we're gonna explore how to count checkboxes inside of a Google Sheet. To start off with here, I have items one through 12, not a big deal. I'm making this as like a simple to-do list. And the first thing I need to do is go in and add checkboxes. So I'm gonna highlight all of them, go to insert. And from there, I'm gonna to go to checkbox, which will be under the insert menu. Now you can see I have the checkboxes in there. And when I check them, uh, they, they go there, but I don't have a total number of things. I use this for to-do list or for tasks that I need to have a record of having things accomplished. And there's a real easy way to total these things up. By going to the bottom or really anywhere on here, I like to go underneath. We're just gonna go to equals, which is gonna put a formula in there. And then we're gonna type in count if, all one word. And you can see it pops up here and it gives you a conditional count across a range. So I'm gonna go count if, and it's gonna ask me for the first thing. And that first thing it's gonna ask me for is what do you wanna count? So I'm gonna give it a range. I wanna count from B1 all the way down to B12. And you can see it's B1 colon B12. After that, I need to see what I want to count. And checkboxes have a state of true or false. Pretty easy to do, but we need to take a look. So I'm going to put a comma in here. And after I do that, I'm going to type in true. Because I want to count only if the items have been checked. Once I do that, I put in my end parenthesis and hit enter. And you can see that I have a zero there right now as my things that are done because I haven't checked any. But as I go through and check these off, you can see that that number will increase and change. And if I deselect it, the number will go down. It only counts things in its current state. Again, that formula is count if, whatever the range is, comma true. I could also go in and do the opposite. So instead of putting true, I could put equals, count if, click on that, highlight my range, hit comma, and then type in false and go through. Again, because checkboxes have two states, true or false, it will count either of those. And as I uncheck things, you'll see that that number will go up all the way to the 12 that I had. Hopefully that helps you and let me know if you have any questions.